These batteries are very common nowadays. You can find them in laptops, flashlights, toys and many other electronic equipments. So for some of us it's important to have a good battery charger. Hello again, my name is Sorin and today I'm gonna show you how to make your own cheap but efficient charger for 18650 lithium ion cells. First of all we need some 18650 cells. If you need to change the laptop battery, don't throw away the old one. You may salvage some good lithium ion cells. When a laptop battery is not good anymore, it doesn't mean that all the cells in the battery pack are faulty. For example, after a certain number of cycles, the whole battery pack is disabled by the battery management system, even if the cells are ok. So you need to buy a new battery for your laptop. Or if a single cell is faulty, the whole battery pack will stop working even if the other cells are ok. That's a safety feature, so it's a good chance you'll find some good lithium ion cells in dead laptop batteries. Now you need to disconnect and clean the cells. In my case the battery management system was faulty and it was shutting down my laptop very often. The cells are actually ok, each one has a voltage of about 4 volts and they were not charged for a few months, so that's a good sign. To make the charger I've bought 4 battery holders and 4 TP4056 charging modules. To make a 1 cell charger it will cost you around 3 euros. Multiply that by 4 and you have a 4 battery charger that will cost you less than 13 euros. And it will be much better than all those cheap Chinese chargers. This TP4056 module it's a very cheap but smart solution to charge your lithium cells. You should read the data sheet. Now why is it called an 18650 cell? The name comes from its size, 18 mm wide and 65 mm long. Let's draw a simple schematic for the charger. Every battery holder will be connected to its charging module and all the modules will receive the current from a single 5 volt power supply. We'll talk about the power supply later. We need a base for the charger made of a non-conductive material, like plywood which is very easy to work with. Now you just glue everything on the plywood base and solder the wires according to the schematic. Or if you want it to look better you can use a single sided copper clapboard. First of all I'm gonna mark all the holes. For the battery holder we have 7.2 cm between the positive and negative pins. I'll use a 0.8 mm drill bit for the holes. I'm gonna use paint for this circuit board, in a future video I'll use my printer, but for now let's do this old school. Now put the circuit board in ferric chloride, use protective gloves and don't use any metal tools.
After 40 minutes, the circuit board is ready. I'm going to use copper wire with a thickness of 0.8mm to connect the charging modules and battery holders to the circuit board. You can use pin headers as well, I just forgot to buy some for this video. We need some wires to connect all the negative inputs of the charging modules. The positive pins are already connected on the circuit board. I'll stick the circuit board to the plywood sheet with double-sided tape. Now the power supply. I have this 1 amp USB charger. Don't use a rubbish USB cable, use a good quality thick one. One thousand milliamps are enough to charge one cell. If we look at the TP4056 data sheet, we see that it has a charging peak current of one thousand milliamps. Now let's see how one cell is charging. We need an USB wattmeter. I'll make one from this USB extension cable and a panel wattmeter. Done. First, I've discharged the cell to a voltage of 2.8 volts. After I connect the charger, the battery voltage is starting to increase. The peak charging current is not 1000 milliamps, but it's okay. 
After the battery voltage reached 4 volts, the charging current started to decrease. But if you need to charge multiple cells at the same time, you should use a much powerful USB charger with 3 or 4 amps, otherwise it will take longer to charge the batteries. If charging time is not a problem for you, then you're ok with a 1 or 2 amps USB charger. When the cell reaches a constant voltage of 4.2 volts, the charging current slowly drops to zero, then the charging is complete and the blue LED lights up. After a few minutes, the other blue LEDs lights up as well. I hope this tutorial will help you in your future projects. If you enjoy it, please subscribe.